15 Top Attractions in Moldova The world is finally catching on to this small country's allure. Moldova was famously dubbed the world's least happy place in a best-selling book in 2008, but it's now better known for its unspoiled countryside, and fantastic wine tours. Number 1. Orhail Veki The archaeological, and ecclesiastical complex at Orhail Veki or, Old Orhei, about 50 kilometers north of Chisinau, is an important historical site, and a place of stark natural beauty. The complex, which occupies a remote, rocky ridge over the Route River, is known for its cave monastery, but it also includes ruins dating from more than 2,000 years ago. Number 2. Milestii Michi. Make your way from the city of Chisinau to Moldova's underground wine city, and cellar, Milestii Michi. Here, 200 kilometers of ancient, underground structures, and halls are kept at a wine-friendly temperature. Take a guided tour of the city's underground streets, each named after a different wine, and wander among the two million bottles of vintages housed in this Guinness World Record holding cellar. Number 3. Tipova Monastery. The fantastic Tipova Cave Monastery is built into cliffs that tower some 200 meters above the Dniester River's west bank, in the tiny village of Tipova some 95 kilometers northeast of Chisinau. The monastery consists of three religious chambers, and monastic cells linked by precarious steps built into the rock face. Number 4. Chisinau. This is Moldova's biggest city which also serves as its capital. This is a city where you can spend quality time in a great number of nightclubs, spas, art galleries, restaurants, and casinos. There is an orange pyramid at the World War II Memorial here that might fascinate you. Number 5. Krikova Winery. During the 15th century, limestone was dug out to build Chisinau, and what was done beneath the hollow underground space later turned out to be world's second largest underground winery. An extensive tunnel system was installed underground, beneath 120 kilometers of complex roadways. Inclusive of underground tasting rooms, warehouses, and guided tours, you could witness 1.25 million bottles of wine altogether. Number 6. Sahana. A spiritual abode resting in the laps of Mother Nature is always hard to resist. And hence, this small village Sahana, which has preserved Holy Trinity Monastery, is one you should not miss out on. It is believed that Virgin Mary's foot imprints are embedded on one of the rocks there, and that makes Sahana a pilgrimage for numerous Moldovans. Number 7. Manasteria Kirchi. Another monastery in Moldova but the most beautiful one. It comes as a mild shock to some that the monastery was a psychiatric hospital during the Soviet era. Built near the end of the 19th century, it comprises five churches, several abbeys, monk cells, and a refectory. Number 8. Capriana Monastery. Home to the largest convent library, the Caprina Monastery was completely built in the 15th century. Located amidst lush green forests, it used to house the Moldovan bishop, and one of the first Moldovan poets, Cyprian. Alexander the Good founded the monastery during the 15th century. Number 9. Soroki Fortress. This gloriously solid behemoth on the Dniester dates to the late 15th century. It was built on the remains of a wooden fortress in the shape of a circle, with five bastions. Today those bastions contain medieval-themed exhibits, with a few English placards posted that shed light on the history of the fortress. Number 10. Quint Factory. When in Moldova, you should buy a bottle of Europe's best cognac, which you can do at the Quint Factory's entrance gate. Since 1897, the finest cognacs have been produced here. Furthermore, Quint is regarded as a national symbol by the locals. A daily tasting tour is available at the Quint Factory, which produces approximately 10 million liters of cognac per year. Number 11. Transnistria? A narrow strip of land on the Dniester River is one of the most unusual places in Eastern Europe. 
because it is not an independent republic officially, but only in the eyes of its citizens, and the government even. The unofficial capital of Transnistria, Tiraspol is one of the oddest looking places you will ever witness, not just in Moldova but all over. Number 12. Benderi Fortress. This impressive Ottoman fortress, located outside the city center near the Benderi Tiraspol Bridge, was built in the 16th century, and saw fierce fighting between Turkish, and Russian forces. You can walk along the ramparts, and enjoy beautiful views of the Dniester River, have a picnic on the grounds, and visit one of the fort's several museums, which document the fort's long, and rich history. Number 13. National Museum of Ethnography and Natural History. The highlight of this massive, and wonderful exhibition is a life-sized reconstruction of the skeleton of a Dinothera an 8-ton elephant-like mammal, that lived 5.3 million to 1.8 million years ago discovered in the Rizim region in 1966. Sweeping dioramas depict national customs, and dress, while other exhibits cover geology, botany, and zoology. Number 14. Benderi Military Museum. The military museum at Benderi displays a rare collection of Soviet military and the consecutive carriages of a decommissioned Soviet steam train. The train is located next to the town's main station, which is no longer in use, visitors can now stroll through the Grand Ticket Hall, admiring the elaborate socialist realist architecture of this now defunct state facility. Number 15. Piata Centrala. The Piata Centrala or Central Market is the largest, and busiest agricultural market in Chisinau, covering an area of 3.5 hectares. Here you can find absolutely everything, from suitcases to electronics, clothing, jewelry, household goods, and appliances, plus the famous Bucuria made sweets, cookies, and desserts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.